guys, Hacks Tech here for another video tutorial for you. Alright, so today I'm going to be going over a previous app that I took a look at in another tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be going over specifically Azul Media Player. Um, one of my previous tutorials was showing you guys how to be able to get um, all of your videos and downloaded content onto the iPad via torrents or whatever you want to use and then to be able to actually watch them on the iPad. So what I did is I took those videos um, and then I downloaded them, um, or actually uploaded them rather onto a website and then I was able to download them from the website onto the device. Um, I actually didn't know it but with Azul Media Player there's actually a feature where you can directly upload videos straight to your iPad. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. First thing you want to do if you haven't already is to download the app. It's a really, really great application. It's called Azul Media Player. Now this is not the only media player that's going to be able to do this. This is just the one program uh, or application rather that I would really recommend. Uh, there's a few other ones and I think there's even a free one out there. Not sure what it's called, but this is the one that's given me the best luck so far. So let's take a look. Alright, so here we have Azul Media Player. It's the first one when you type in Azul. You can just click on that and it'll bring up all the information. And as you can see, the application is $2.99, so I'd strongly recommend that you guys go and pick that up. And I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what it can do for you. Alright, and if you go to your home screen, I'll go ahead and open up the application, since I already have it installed. I'll go ahead and open up Azul Media Player. And when you open up the application, you'll see all the videos that you have installed into the application uh, shown in large tile. It'll have all the text for whichever videos you have in there. So one of the things I found is that you can actually directly upload videos into the application. It's really, really easy. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you go to the very top right, right next to the edit bar, you can click on the settings icon. You're going to see all of your different options within Azure Media Player. One of the options under HTTP slash FTP server is enable web, ser web server. So if you click on, it'll bring up an address, and you can actually type that into your web browser, which I'm going to do now. And once you type that into your web browser, you'll be able to take any videos that you have on your computer and upload them straight into the app. So let's go ahead and try that. If I go into my web browser here, which I'm running Windows and I'm on Chrome, I can type in uh, the full address. 192.168 and then it's of course going to vary depending on your computer and your device uh, and now I can see a list of all of the uh, actual applications or rather videos that I've actually installed into the program so in Azul Media Player this is all of my videos if I want I can go down the list and delete any of the videos that I don't want uh, or I can go up here and choose file and now I can select which video I want to add into this list Let's say I want to add uh, an episode of The Simpsons. I'll go ahead and select one of these here. Just a second. And let's say I want to add that into my list. I can go ahead and click Open on whichever video I want to upload. Click on Upload. And if you look at the very bottom left-hand corner here, you'll see that right, right down there it says Uploading, and it gives you a percentage. It's going to be kind of small, but it's right up above my start menu, or start bar. Uh, it'll say uploading, and right now I'm at 30%. So this is, just to give you some perspective, a roughly 30-minute show, and it's taken about, I'd say, 20 seconds to get to 50%. So you figure in under a minute, you can get most of your shows uploaded straight into the app. And for a movie, I would guess that you could probably get it uploaded within 5 to 10 minutes at the most. So it's really, really quick, and it's really easy to get the applications, uh, or rather videos, into the app. I'm just going to wait so I can show you how it works once it gets to 100% here. Alright, so once you get to 100%, you'll see a little flash on your screen, and then if you go into your application, so I'll go ahead and open back up my iPad. If I close out of this, I can go ahead and disable the web server. Click Done, and now if I scroll to the very bottom, then my new video will have been added, and I believe that particular video is uh, this one right here. I can open it if I want to, but 
Anyways, regardless of that, uh, it's really quick and really easy. The video automatically will open as soon as it's uploaded into the application, and that's all there is to it. Uh, just to give you some a uh, little bit more information, from this you can actually choose multiple files if you want to. So if you wanted to upload multiple videos into Azul Media Player, you certainly can. However, in my experience in trying to upload multiple videos at the same time, sometimes the videos didn't successfully upload to the application. So I would recommend that you guys do it one video at a time, or one video file at a time. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think about my tutorial, let me know if this helped you out in any way, uh, and hopefully I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thanks.